So Javante Davis gave his reaction to Devin Haney losing to Ryan Garcia, where he said, quote, Forget Devin. Where is Bill? Where is Dirt at? That's what happens when you fight someone your size. Correction. That's what happens when you fight someone coming over three pounds, the weight limit that's agreed upon. But we're going to talk about that later. Tank followed up by saying, I'm still coming to get these ninjas. It's not over. Ninjas got to see me. Yo, I'm going to give you all the address to Dirt Spot and Cherry Hill. Need y'all to send mad pictures, big ass posters to his crib of Devin in the air. Pause. Laughing emoji. Then when Ellie Setback tweeted, Javante, this is by far the worst referee in boxing. Javante said, no, he knew what he was doing. You didn't peep his face. He was smiling. Then Javante responded to Ryan saying, damn, Devin broke his jaw allegedly. Tank posted this emoji, then he told a fan that he's going to be partying just like Ryan Garcia tonight. And Tank also said, Ryan is so ass, I can take eight to nine shots and still beat him. Now, you can say whatever you want to say about Tank, but he does handle business outside of the ring and inside of the ring. He was smart for putting a weight limit on Ryan Garcia. He knew Ryan Garcia likes to skip weights. And that's why he put the weight limit, which it worked in his favor in terms of Ryan didn't come overweight. He actually made the weight against Tank. Therefore, the fight was on an even playing field, unlike when Ryan came over three pounds overweight at the weigh-in against Devin Haney for simply an advantage. Tank followed up by responding to Leonard Ellaby for saying, gotta stay humble, where he said, Get my camp house ready. I will be there Monday, but right now, I'm celebrating our win at Ryan Garcia. Nothing, just calling my worst enemy. Then, surprisingly, Javante told Ryan Garcia, call me, bruh. You can get my number now. I'm on the way to the club, bruh. Every <laughs> Everything on me. This is my first time reading this one. However, it's really revealing. The way Tank is celebrating, as if he was the one that beat Devin Haney tonight. It's interesting to hear Javante say these things, because at first he was saying, you know, everyone is still going to get it. Now, obviously, that's what we want to hear. But when you say things like, hey, let's celebrate. You can have my number. I'm on the way to the club right now. Everything on me. The way this comes off, it's. Like, man, thank you for getting this Devin Haney chip out of my shoulder. I was worried about it. I didn't want to take it off and I couldn't take it off. So thank you for doing the job I didn't dare to do. That's pretty much what Javante is saying to Ryan Garcia. Tank gets full credit for beating Ryan Garcia. That one in particular aged like wine, just like the Pitbull Cruise went. However, Tank gets zero credit for Ryan Garcia daring to be great by fighting Devin Haney, something Tank should have done. I was expecting a different type of reaction. I was expecting Tank to be mad that Ryan did the job he was supposed to do, that Ryan took food out of his plate because Tank fumbled the bag. Right before Ryan beat Devin Haney, the biggest fight in boxing was Javante versus Devin Haney. However, that's no longer the case after this loss that Devin Haney suffered against Ryan. But guess who also suffered? Javante Tank Davis' pocket, as he was going to bank a lot of money since he was the A-side in that situation as well. Therefore, you would expect Tank to be mad that Ryan had the audacity to rob money from Tank's bank. Instead, Javante wants to celebrate with Ryan for doing so, which that only could mean that Javante was concerned about the Devin Haney fight. Lastly, Javante told Ryan, I'm in New York. Call me. I got Coke 45 on me and Coke. That being said, it was interesting to hear what Javante had to say. But what really caught my attention was the last things he said, since that was really revealing. Remember, 
It ain't like Ryan gave Javante all of the credit in the world for beating him. Ryan is still making excuses about that fight till his day. So the fact that Tank is saying he want to be friends with Ryan instead of being mad that Ryan took food out of his plate, that Ryan took money out of his pocket, tells you everything you need to know. Now, one thing we do know is that Javante is truly the one. He is the one in terms of being the best fighter, having the most talent. I mean, just look at how easily Tank beat Ryan. He made that look like easy work. However, it almost seems like Javante lacks the confidence since he let the Lomachenko opportunity go and now he let the Devin Haney opportunity pass him by as well. He let Tio get the credit and he let Ryan get the credit instead of being the top dog to step in to show the world that he's really the one. Two things for certain. To all of the fans that are making excuses that the reason why Ryan lost the tank was because of the rehydration clause and the catch weight. Well, you guys have to realize Ryan Garcia agreed to that though. And he actually came in on weight. However, we can easily say the same exact thing. Matter of fact, even worse about Ryan beating Devin that he pretty much cheated in order to do so by coming over three pounds overweight the day of the weigh-in instead of struggling to make weight like Devin Haney. You see, this was all part of the plan. Ryan knew he wasn't gonna make weight. Ryan could have easily told Devin Haney on the final press conference that he wasn't gonna be able to make weight since he obviously knew that. That way, both him and Devin Haney could have had changed the weight from 140 to 143 just like he did in previous fights so Devin Haney could be on an even playing field just like Ryan however Ryan didn't want to do that he purposefully played Devin he told Devin let's bet the money as if he was going to make the weight because he wanted Devin to come on weight and struggle to make the weight while he Ryan Garcia can come in at 143.2 at a comfortable weight so he can be not just 100%, but 110% against Devin Haney. Keep the same energy, don't flip. To all of you fans who is justifying Ryan losing to Tank because of the rehydration clause and the catchway he agreed to, even though both Tank and Ryan were lightweights at the time, you guys got to keep the same energy and the same tone about Devin Haney losing to Ryan due to Ryan Garcia weight advantage they didn't agree upon where Ryan purposefully missed weight by 3.2 pounds at the weigh-in. Even Ryan admitted he did that for an advantage so he can get the upper hand on Devin Haney. Are you guys going to call Ryan a weight bully, a cheater for doing so? I don't think so. I remember the time when Corrales beat Castillo in a crazy fight where Corrales actually got dropped three times and he rallied back to stop Castillo. However, in the rematch, Castillo actually came in three to four pounds overweight, just like Ryan Garcia. He purposefully missed weight in order to have an advantage on Corrales. He even admitted that. But when Castillo knocked out Corrales in the fourth round during that fight, Nobody gave him any credit till this day because he cheated. Everyone said he cheated since he missed weight on purpose to have an advantage on his opponent, which was not right nor fair. Well, that's exactly what Ryan Garcia just did against Devin Haney. Are we going to pretend that Ryan didn't purposefully miss weight for an advantage? Oh, yeah. Y'all just going to ignore that. However, if it was the other way around, I guarantee you. That's all you guys would be talking about. Just like you guys did when it came to Tank beating Ryan. You guys still make that excuse to this day about the rehydration clause and the catch weight, even though that was agreed upon. Both Tank and Ryan had to do it and they did it. However, in this case between Devin and Ryan, Ryan came three more than three pounds overweight. However, Devin Haney didn't. And they never agreed upon that 
before the fight. Nor Ryan told Devin Haney a day before the fight that, hey, let's change the weight to 143 instead of 140. We all know what time it is. Nevertheless, that's why we got to see a rematch at 147. So there would be no excuses that Ryan can't make 140. And I guess since Ryan is claiming now that he doesn't want to fight at 140, we will never see the Tank versus Ryan rematch. Either way, one thing you got to respect about both Devin Haney and Ryan is that they are making the biggest fights come to fruition and they are taking chances by fighting the best, especially Devin Haney. So you got to give both of them a whole lot of credit for that. On the other hand, when it comes to Javante, he looks like he has the most talent. However, he's not taking advantage of that talent. I must say it was highly impressive how easily Tank beat Ryan. However, he let a lot of opportunities go by not fighting Lomachenko and Devin Haney. But we talking about money and legacy. We talking about Tank would be pound for pound number one or two right now if he did so. With that being said, go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and to be continue on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.